Yo, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a green screen on Streamlabs OBS. So, Streamlabs OBS is a new type of OBS that helps to incorporate many things, including themes, I guess you can see here, that you guys can put all this kind of stuff. You just got to click on it and push import, and it's, it's really cool. You get all this new stuff from it. Streamlabs OBS is amazing. So, but to add your webcam and do everything you're going to need with, the, with your green screen, I'm going to have to show you guys a few things. So before I start, I just want to make sure you guys know that you need, first of all, you need a green screen. Second of all, you're going to need a light that shines like on you and make the, your room brighter because you have to have a bright room for it to work. And third of all, you're going to need a webcam, of course. So let's get straight into this. So first, you're going to want to go to sources. You can see here, push the plus button and go to video capture device, which is right here. That's your webcam. Push add source. You can see video capture device. This is me right here. So uh, this is the webcam. So add existing source or add new source, whichever one um, shows up for you. So you guys can see right here, I am in the full screen. This is me. But the problem is, you can see right here, this is uh, not filled out or there's no green screen here. So that's not going to really matter for, for me at least. If you guys have, like, you're going to want at least around this much space, like around this, for um, the green screen to work. You're not going to need it to be fully, uh, how do you say it? Like, the screen screen doesn't have to be fully around you. But before I do start showing you guys this, remember, if you guys go to properties right here, you guys can change the width of your camera. So you can make it all the way down to, like, this small or all this stuff. For the concept of this video, I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080. A lot of cameras will not go that high. I've got a good webcam. Depending on the webcam, you're going to want to make it bigger or smaller. But you can also click this and you downsize it like this as well. So don't worry. If it is big, you can just make it smaller. So let's just let's get into the setup, guys. Before I do start this, sorry about that. There's I just want to show you guys that I do have a light right here that shines in onto me. And I also have a light right next to it. You guys can see right there. Where is it? Uh, Higher, lower, okay, you get, uh, ooh. to the left, okay, to the left of the big light, there's one, <laughs> I can't figure out how to get to it, but I'm going to position my camera so that as much of the green screen is in it as possible, let's see here, around like that, let's, let's make it go down a little bit, you want to position your camera how you want it to look, that looks pretty good to me, so once you have that, you're going to right click on this and go to filters, once you're in filters, you're going to want to push this plus button right here, you want to go to click this filter type, go down, scroll all the way down, and right here you guys can see chroma key. The chroma key, push done, bam. You guys can see that the background is like pretty fizzy right now. So first of all, I, I would turn the smoothness down to like 20-ish. Let's see here. You guys can see it looks very gray now instead of green. So turn it around 20, I don't know. Whatever you guys want to turn it down to, but then similarity you're going to want to put up as much as possible until the background is completely black and you're still in it. So now I'm pretty good. Let's see. I can turn this. I'll turn this down a teeny bit more. See if I can turn this up, sharpen a little bit. You're, you're gonna want to make it so it's not fizzy. So if you go in, like your your head's not fizzy because if you go in like this, you can see your head starts to get fizzy and it just starts to look weird. So you want to make it as good as possible. Keep putting it at different settings. So mine's at 484 right now. Let's see if I can make it a little bit smoother. No, I don't want that. If I turn this all the way down, see, it's not, I don't want it all the way down, but I want it to be like somewhere around 22. Okay, that's perfect. So you guys can see if you move your arms around, it's not like your arms aren't gray or anything. You want to make sure to do that as well. So once you have all this down, I would not mess with this. It doesn't really do anything. It just makes you, you know, darker. Pretty weird. Just keep it at like whatever it was before. I don't know what it was. I think it was at 100, but... Now you're going to want to go to this. You can either, like, you can change the contrast if you want to make it lighter or darker. I don't usually do that. Neither with the brightness either. It's not really going to do anything for you. So just keep those both at zero or pretty close to it. The gamma, on the other hand, is actually very important. The gamma, you're going to want to, I would rather move it down. You guys can see you get brighter on this side, but you get more realistic looking on if you go down. See, that's what it looks like in real life. So, or at least, you know, closer. So I like to keep it at somewhere around, like, this so you guys can see i look pretty good right now that's not what i mean but like the green screens look working pretty well now to the harder part 
now you're going to want to push plus you want to go to display capture to get the background and push add source just to show you guys that it actually works i'm just going to add existing source because this is my background make sure the display capture is all the way down guys make it all the way down on the list so bam you guys can see that i'm going to shrink this to make it look like you know it's in game or whatever if you're doing gaming or whatever i'll just i'll just move my camera a little bit to for the point of this video to show you guys how it looks so this is it right here you guys can see i am right here you're gonna have to change the things of you're gonna have to change the settings of your uh thing to of your webcam to make it so you can like go out more or whatever but you know you guys can see that it's pretty cool i'm here there's nothing different you guys can see a little bit right there you can just change your camera like i said bam it's not well it's kind of there but just move your camera to how you want it and like you can tilt your camera do whatever you need so you're here so you can look at the camera so you're perfect and you guys can see right now the background is here um you can move yourself around uh, let me show you guys the display capture you can just turn that you can make it bigger smaller make sure it fits as well and that's pretty much it guys it's pretty simple you just have to make sure you're in it your body is completely there and that you're not fuzzy or anything like that so if your lighting's right if your green screen is good you should be good remember guys like I, I, at the beginning i didn't have enough money to buy a uh, green screen i tried to use green sheets it didn't exactly work but you never know you never know i would try it guys see what works if you don't you don't have to buy anything just use anything green that's big enough and it might work if it doesn't and you might have to buy something but guys thank you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like it make sure to tell me in the comments and uh, that's pretty much it for today guys see you guys later have a good night love you guys peace out